Thanks for tuning in. This is Stopper Be Thoppin'. Let's see how well a full-size ATV fits into the new Tundras with the short beds. So real quick, dimensions of the bed for those that are interested. Between the wheel wells, it's 48 inches. Between the side walls, it's approximately 63, 64. They are kind of shaped like this a little bit. The bed height is right around like 21 and a half inches deep. It is about five feet, five and a half inches, five foot six inches to the usable space uh, inside this bed and all the way back we're at approximately 89 inches so these are the ramps i'm using they are seven feet long aluminum pretty standard atv side-by-side -side ramps they have a weight rating of about 750 pounds a piece um, i have overloaded them loading a side-by-side -side into an f450 one time so they can take a decent amount more than that i'm really happy with them i'll have a link in the description below no affiliation with them or with amazon where i purchased them from so here's a side view of loading the ATV up against the bulkhead. Fair bit of extra room there. So for your awareness, this is a stock ATV with the stock size tires and this is where she sits. This Tundra does have the rear air suspension and I do have it in the lowered mode. That's why it's squatting right now. And I do have a winch with a thimble on the front. So that's kind of protruding pretty far towards the bulkhead there. I did leave myself quite a bit of a gap, but as you can see, the, the bumper, at least on these Grizzlies, is still several inches away from this window. As you guys are probably already aware, the crew cab version of this truck, all the rear windows slide down. So maybe consider doing that before loading anything. As far as tie down hooks go, you have one in every corner. You can see the one up there in the front. And that's pretty much it. The, the, those can hold quite a bit of weight. I'm not exactly sure what the, uh, the weight rating is, but then these side cleats here, you can move to the front or anywhere along this wall. And these can handle up to 200 pounds of a working load. So here it is sitting on the tailgate. Uh, I forget the weight rating of the tailgate, but I do recall it is plenty. I think it's, I think it's like a thousand or 1500 pounds, but, and obviously, Everybody's gonna tie their machines down how they prefer. So there she is, fully loaded. If you got any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching, everybody.